Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for September 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? All right, so the only thing I have to say to start is thank you so much for being patient with me while I get these monthly readings out. Shit's been real. Ha! Huh? Okay, cool. So, Cancer, let's dive into your pre-shuffle here. Uh, I think what this feels like is you are seriously questioning the validity of a relationship that you have in front of you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. You have the Page of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Swords, the Two of Cups, the High Priestess, and finally the Page of Wands. And I think what's going on here is you have some serious questions, Cancer. You're like, First of all, I feel what I want to say is, where are we going in this relationship? Or what do I truly feel for this relationship? Page of Cups. And the wheel is turning. The wheel is turning. And there's a lot of mystery involved with this situation. The Wheel of Fortune to the High Priestess. But while that's happening, you have the Page of Swords, the Two of Cups, and then finally the Page of Wands. So it's almost as if you're watching waiting, anticipating, keeping your eyes open, keeping your eyes peeled, watching very carefully how someone conducts themselves. It could also be vice versa. If you are uh, aligning with someone new here, it could very well be that you're both doing this right now. But for you, Cancer, specifically, especially because you have the Seven of Pentacles, oh, and the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, oh, Cancer, I feel like you could... You could change up your position at the drop of a hat and just walk away from this and leave it all the way behind. So I feel like while there may be, while we are, I do feel like we're talking about a relationship here um, and you both may be watching each other. I feel like the other person is kind of at the mercy of your own decision. I don't feel like you're looking to walk away too quickly. But at this point, Cancer, I do feel like enough has gone on for you to kind of be on the fence about it. And yet the universe is saying here, whoa, hold your horses because you don't know everything yet. Like not to discredit what you're feeling. And quite frankly, Spirit is kind of saying through the High Priestess, yes, you have every right to feel this way. You need to honor your intuition. You need to honor your feelings. But trust that you don't know all of the elements about the situation yet. And that's where the Wheel of Fortune comes in. Because things are still changing, things are still developing, still, things are still growing. Or anything can happen. So just like that energy of you being able to drop, drop this at the dot, drop like at the uh, at the, the the snap of a finger and completely change the way you approach or identify with this situation, so too can the elements of the situation change that quickly. Okay. The wheel of fortune is really saying to me, hold your horses a little bit, Cancer, because there are things. There are elements to this relationship that are changing that you don't know about. And quite frankly, it could very well be in your favor. You just don't see how that could work yet, all right? Don't get too hasty, Cancer. Well, I know. I mean, in, in sidereal astrology, which is what I tend to resonate with the most, I'm a Cancer moon, and I'm in it all the way. I'm in it to win it, for sure. But as soon as I get to the point where it's like, now I'm really starting to question things, I'll drop it at the, ooh, at the, at the, uh, at the, uh, on, on the turn on a dime, like, instant like the snap of a finger as if and and people and like leaving people's heads reeling like wait wait a second you were just all in and now all of a sudden you want nothing to do with this like what the hell happened i changed my mind that's what happened Ooh. all right cancer i see you <laughs> all right kids let's get into this here and see what else we have for you Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2020. Five shuffles here. One. Two, three, 
free. Four. For my Cancerians. And five. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right, Cancer. Overall energy, what do we have for, oh damn, there's that two of cups again. <laughs> All right, look, Cancer, what I just heard is this actually could be a very serious relationship for you. But this, but this is also why you might need to be or why you are questioning things so hard. I feel like, Cancer, you're in a very good place where it's not like you necessarily need anybody, but you would like to have a companion. But that doesn't mean 555 five, five on the counter. Woo! That does not mean that you're just going to settle for any old body. And even if someone really has your attention, you really want to make sure this is right before you start diving deeper into it. Underneath the Two of Cups is death. This is potential marriage territory. Underneath death, the Ten of Cups. And underneath the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. But see, see but the Spirit just said, this is why you are so carefully questioning what's going on in front of you in terms of this relationship. I know me, for example, I'm divorced, okay? And I know, and, and it's funny because before I actually got married, me and my ex were together for about seven years. Um, and what finally caused us to, to like pull the trigger on it was the fact that New York State, I'm from New York, I live in Puerto Rico now, but I'm from New York. New York State had just legalized same-sex marriage. And so we had been together for so long, it's like, psh, shit, why not? Of course, as soon as we signed those papers, everything went to absolute shit. But anyway, that's a, <laughs> that's a story for a different time. But before I got married, I, I was always that type of person to say, what do I need to get married for? Especially with all this fight that's going on between like the church, or at least that was at the time. I don't know. I don't know what's still happening now, but like people were saying that, 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 that same sex couples getting married was, was, uh, was destroying the sanctity of marriage. And yet heterosexual couples were running around destroying the sanctity of marriage all on their own. They didn't need us to do it for them. Right. So at that point I was kind of like, what the fuck do I need to get married for? I mean, all I want is my partner. We live together. We have our good little thing and we do it. But then, but then it was legalized and we're like, Shit, all right, we might as well. And then I got divorced. But even after I got divorced, I was like, wow, okay, I do, I do like being married. I, I do like that whole thing. I would not mind getting married again. I actually do want to remarry. But I'm not just going to remarry any old body because trust and believe, I'm not trying to get divorced again. So that's the type of energy that I'm feeling here for you, Cancer. This is good. Getting into the rest of your reading here, first half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies, you have, oh my God, the Ace of Cups, Cancer. I just heard there is a love offer that is willing to be made to you or you are willing to make it to them. I also feel like this Ace of Cups is here and this relationship is, is emerging for you because you have a sense of deep, unconditional love for yourself that's shining through and is allowing other people to align with you in that way. Ace of Cups is coupled with <laughs> the world. I mean, like, this really could be the end-all be-all in a relationship for you. Because death can represent marriage in terms of it's a transformation. So you're going from a bachelor, bachelorette lifestyle to couplehood. Like, whereas you only had yourself to really think about and care for, well, now you have someone else to think about and care for. And oh, by the way, that person might also have children. And now you got to think about them too. And so death in that way can represent the transformation that one goes through from being single to now being uh, committed to someone else or committed to a family situation. And thus the world can represent that as well. Because the world is a closing out of, an, of, a, of a cycle, is, a, is also a bit of a transformation. And with this Ace of Cups here, I feel like this is the offer that could really bring everything full circle or bring the, the, the change or the transformation or the closing out of a previous lifestyle. 
i.e. marriage. All right. But now I even feel some of y'all like, okay, and what else? Mm -hmm. No, that's fine. Let's look. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. You have the Nine of Cups. But see, this is you. This is you sitting there like, yeah, and what else you got for me? What else you got for me? Because I'm good on my own over here. I don't know what you think you can offer me. It's very much, there's a song out there, one of my favorite songs. It's called Good Thing by Kehlani and Zed. And the lyrics are like, don't tell me you got a good thing for me because I already got a good thing. I've done everything I dream. I got everything I want. I don't need your money. I don't need your this. I don't need your that. I ain't asking for shit from you. So tell me, what you, tell me really what you got for me, huh? Tell me. Okay, Cancer, now you might want to reel it in a little bit, but I, I totally understand what you're saying here. Now, here's the other thing, Cancer. You have the Nine of Cups here, you have the Ace of Cups here. And I was feeling, and when I heard, I didn't say this, but when we, I was still talking about the Ace of Cups, I heard this was a potential offer. But this is that 11-11. This is that offer that's going to give you that final cup to now get you to the 10. But you're good on your own. It's not like you're out here stressing about it. It's not like you and, look, not even stressed, not even stressed. And that's the type of, the type of energy that's really going to bring this in for you or whatever else it is that you want, right? Okay, Nine of Cups is coupled with the Page of Pentacles. This is a solid offer. Yes, it's a page. But pages are messengers. Knights are messengers too. But here, the Page of Cups is someone coming to you saying, let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the ground up. I know, you've got, I know you're good on your own. You're not necessarily looking for me or some other person to, to, to offer anything to you or to complete you in any way. But I, ha I do have something of value that I want to share with you. And I see you're in a good place. I'm in a good place too. Why can't we be in a good place together? And now here goes Cancer like, okay, I guess you're right. <laughs> I guess I can see this out. I guess I can open my mind to it a little bit. Y'all are funny, man. <laughs> you're a challenge in the first half of your reading. Ah, the Ten of Swords, Cancer. Putting the past behind you. Some of you are really, really guarded because of a past situation with other people or maybe a past situation with this person. You've got to put this behind you. If this is going to work for you, you've got to put this behind you, right? And that's going to be difficult. I know, Cancer, I know, honey. I know how petty we can be. I know how we can just latch on to things and never let go. Well, you have to. If this is going to work, fuck that. If anything is going to work for you moving forward, whether it's a relationship, a romantic relationship, a business relationship, a friendship, a creative endeavor, whatever, you are going to have to put the past behind you to allow the new to flourish, okay? Ten of Swords is coupled with my, 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 justice. A word? Oh, shit. So you mean in order for you to have justice in your life, you're going to have to lay down the swords and put the past away? Gosh, that's a novel idea. <laughs> I mean, like, straight up rocket science, right? Oh. <laughs> All right, Cancer, you get it. <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome for you here in the first half of your reading. You, whoop! The devil. It's crazy, Cancer, because the devil has been coming out for each sign since I got to Aries. And for the most part, the devil has, well, okay, again, spirit is saying the devil is in the details. Okay, so pay attention to the red flags, but I think that's what you're on guard for anyway. But quite frankly, Cancer, the devil could be just that commitment. The devil could be that old ball and chain. It doesn't have to be fear, it doesn't have to be negativity, it doesn't have to be toxicity, it doesn't have to be addiction. It could straight up be that ball and chain, that tying yourself down, settling down with someone else. And marriage is a big topic here. I mean, shit, the only thing we don't have right now is the Hierophant. We haven't gotten to the second half of the reading yet. The devil is coupled with... Oh my God, Cancer, the, the tower! Whoa, not, no, Cancer, this is serious. You need to take this seriously, Cancer, because this is big. 
This is really, really big. Either you have a, a relationship with someone right now that's about to move to like a much deeper like sense of commitment, or there's a relationship on the horizon that's about to pop off. And I mean like change some shit up. The devil with the tower. Keeping in terms of what this was, what I was saying to you about how, you know, death and the world and, and the devil can represent marriage, commitment, and locking yourself down. The tower is that complete change in your reality, like, like complete change and seemingly overnight too. Maybe figuratively speaking, it doesn't have to be that quick, but damn cancer, damn. <sighs> okay. Either way, though, Cancer, I like this energy. I do feel how guarded you are. I feel that. But at this point, I don't think it's all that necessary anymore. Okay? So maybe, like, lay down some of the defenses. Yeah? All right, Cancer. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to move over to part two, which can be found over on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon yet, I highly recommend that you get there. Uh, patreon.com slash divine conversations. There's a ton of great stuff there already. And then there's going to be even more in the future. Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All you got to do is email me divine conversations, 2711 at gmail.com. All of the information for both Patreon and, and, uh, emailing me for a private reading can be found in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>